What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today it's just gonna be a quick shotgun video. We're gonna be talking about why in the world does Apple continue to make iPad minis? All right, so we're jumping in this video right away. All right, if you know, you know, any day now, we will be getting some new iPad models, specifically the iPad mini. And that got me thinking, why? Why are we continuing to make iPad minis? All right, in my opinion, the iPad mini is just a glorified iPhone, but much bigger. And so if we're gonna do refreshes on iPads, I would scrap the iPad mini, I would keep the Air, I would keep the base model iPad, and then I would have the Pros. I don't really see why we're getting iPad minis. Now, if you have an iPad mini, if you have some uses for it, if it's a daily driver for you, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. Do you like the iPad mini? Let me know the scoop. Maybe there's something that I'm missing. I'm open. I'm open. All right. We're going to jump back in to the video. So one of the things right off the bat about the iPad mini, the base storage, 64 gigabytes, that's not enough. All right. And then 256 is the next available storage option just isn't enough storage not much more i can say about that you'd be better off getting one of the other ipad models all right so i just made a video recently about what i want to see in the new ipad pro m3 and if we get some of those features in that new ipad i just don't see the reason for an ipad mini maybe a device for children maybe you're just streaming maybe you're not a professional and the ipad mini is for you but storage for me it's too doggone small, all right? And before I got my iPad Pro M2, I did have an iPad mini previously. And one of the issues that I had was it died all the time. More often than not, I would use it. A couple days later, I would come back and it would be dead. So that was one of the issues for me is the main reason I took my iPad mini back and decided to get the iPad M2 the Pro just battery life. It was ridiculous that I would come back and my iPad would be dead. I wasn't even using it. So just battery life is another reason why I don't know why they continue to make the iPad mini. You get more battery life, I think, in my opinion, out of your iPhone. Okay. I don't have the, the tools to fact check that, but I just feel like the iPhone gives you more battery than the iPad mini. I could leave the iPhone on for a couple days and it wouldn't be dead. Second thing, why I don't understand why they're continuing to make iPad minis is they're using older chips. So if you have an iPhone 15 Pro, you're on the A17 Pro chip, I believe is what they're calling it. The last iPad mini has the A15 Bionic chip. So again, this is more on the line of why I'm calling these like glorified iPhones, you know, almost like jumbo SE iPhones, is we're still using these old chips. So if the new iPad mini is on par to have a new chip it's probably going to be the a16 and so again i don't know what you're using your ipad for but if i had an option if i couldn't choose the pro models and i had to choose an ipad to pick I'm probably not going to pick the mini i would go with the air or even the base ipad might be a better option than this okay so the chips i want to see an ipad mini with an m1 m2 or m3 chip i think once we start getting the power and the mini, I think the mini might come back around as being a useful iPad because I love the size, weight, and portability. We add USB-C, right? I like what the iPad mini is trying to accomplish, what it's trying to do being that portable iPad, but I just don't see, I just don't see it. So I don't know. The chip, the chip, we gotta, we gotta have a powerful chip in there. Now I know this isn't a pro, level device and so maybe you're not using your ipad mini cameras for anything but i would like to see some better cameras in the ipad mini i don't understand why some of the other ipads have better cameras so you must not be buying your ipad mini for the camera so i definitely would like to see some upgrades in the camera with the camera possibly video recording i know it's not a pro device so, you know that's probably an area that's not going to be improved but cameras overall, 
would be a good fit. Four ninety nine, five hundred bucks, whatever the iPad Mini costs. Um, I just don't think for that price, you're sacrificing so much. The iPad Mini is just a, it's a, not a worthy iPad. I know so many people are excited for a new refresh in the iPad Mini, but I don't know. I'm going against the grain. Maybe I don't. I'm not too excited for that. I'm more excited for iPad Pro. But that's just the quick rundown. So. Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited for a new iPad mini? Could you care less? Is there something that I'm missing as to why I'm not getting the most out of the mini line? I am a pro model iPad person. I just prefer some of the other features. I know the price point might be a big part of it. The $499 versus the $799 upwards of $1,000 if you start adding the storage. I know that iPad mini has an issue with the display and the jelly rolling. So people are excited about possibly the iPad mini screen getting fixed with the scroll. I think I call it rolling jelly rolls. Jelly scrolling is fixed. That enough is to is getting people excited for the iPad mini, just fixing that. Um, I don't know. I'm not sold, but I'm seeing stuff all across the internet that we are getting new iPad models. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? That's my quick rant. I don't, I'm not a fan of the iPad mini. If they discontinued it, I wouldn't lose any sleep, but if they made some improvements that made it worthwhile, I definitely see what the iPad mini is trying to do. Just right now, I would spend the extra money and get an Air or Pro. That's just me. So let me know what you guys think. Until next time, catch you in the next video. Peace.